Hello in the next episode. In today's video I'm going to install the new PicoFly chip into the Nintendo Switch Lite. Let's start it! Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. It doesn't matter if you just started the journey with electronics or you are an experienced designer. But if you'd like to create some project, PCBWay will get you covered. So you can design your own PCB board in just a few clicks. You can even upload your project and you will get a manual review by a professional team. Also, PCBWay can assemble PCB for you and they source the components if needed. Why PCBWay? The answer is simple. You will get the best value, manufacturer direct pricing, fast turnaround times as fast as 24 hours, minimum quantities requirements, on-time shipping, delivery rate of 99%. PCBWay.com can find the link in the video description and now let's get back to our switch all right so we've got two chips here the chip on the right this is the original uh, chip hw fly version 4.1 and this is the very very first one as you can see it's a little bit different than this one on the left hand side we've got a pico fly light so this is very similar we've got this place cut off because you know here is going to be apu metal shield you will see later in this video and as you can see here we've got a button just to boot so we can connect our sd card adapter here and then we can press this button and we can reprogram this but this is the pico fly chip it's based on the rp2040 that's why we've got a button here as you can see on the original one doesn't have this button but we can also program this chip without any issue by just plugging the sd card adapter and using the special flash uh, files so to program this chip you just need to plug you know the sd card adapter press the button plug it to your pc or laptop and then you can uh, drag and drop you know the file to update this chip this chip came already with the pre-installed uh, firmware it's got pre-installed firmware on it i don't know which version the same but we can you know update it later by you know by the payload so we're going to install this chip into our switch you know the process of installing this chip is exactly the same like this one maybe it's a little bit different because here we've got we should solder 3.3 volts but in this case we don't have this extender whatever it is so we need to solder 3.3 volts directly here this is the point for 3.3 volts let's start the installation so first thing what i need to do i just need to turn on our switch i'm already in the system update and this is the latest version of the switch let me just check a few options i always do console battery on and i need to turn off automatic software updates because this is very annoying and i think this is the process you know the sd card should be in yes the micro sd card is already in but it's got very low capacity all right so i need to contact my customer and i need to ask him what about this his sd card can i wipe it all right so at this point the console is already updated to the latest one it's reading the sd cards i just noticed that you know my customer included you know eight gigs of the sd card which is you know this is not this is very useless i would say the sd card has to be minimum you know 64 gigs but the best option you know the more capacity is the best yeah but i would suggest you know people to buy 256 gigs 128 gigs is very low but it's okay but if you don't have any money and you need to buy the sd card just buy at least 64 gigs because you know you need to create emulant emulant takes 32 gigs so you've got only 32 gigs another to install some apps homebrew apps etc so it's it's very low 128 should be absolutely minimum for this we won't use that card and we won't make a backup but we will install you know the the chip all right so let's quickly disassemble this console okay so first thing what we need to do is just need to disconnect this ribbon tape and the battery just need to remove this heat sink now all right so now i'm going to, to use hot air 140 degrees to remove this foam all right so now we don't need to remove you know we don't need to take the motherboard out we can just leave this like it is we just need to remove the game card reader
we just need to remove this one, this foam, because the new chip is going to be the here, like this. We won't use this tape, because, you know, some people, they can use this without any problems. But, you know, from my experience, I don't like this tape, because when I started and I was using this tape very often, and the most of the devices that I've used that they've come back and I had to remove that ribbon tape and you know instead of that solder the jumper wire directly to the points and then to the points on the motherboard and then directly to the certain points on the chip so we won't use this connector we will just use this connector this is for the APU so we need we just need to remove the APU metal shield because we need to solder the APU tape let's clean the metal shield here and on the APU all right so what we need to do we just need to go under the microscope we need to prepare our tape as usual and our tape is here so we just need to apply some flux on those points the other side the same and that's it so now let's find our APU and we've got it so we just need to solder this tape here so we just need to press it a little bit, a little bit. But first, we just need to solder those points to make sure it won't move during, you know, the process of soldering the SP1 and SP2 points. So first, just solder it to the frame and it won't move. Okay. Make sure it's soldered properly. So try to shake it. We don't want, you know, here spikes or whatsoever so we just need to spread that solder on the frame because we just need to have this flat something like this all right that should be fine let's apply some flux on sp1 and sp2 all right should be all right and the most important point all right i think it should be all right right now Let's clean it and measure the points. All right, so multimeter in the beep mode. So the black probe on the ground going to be at this point because this is the ground. And this is the correct value. This is the ground. This is important rail this is correct and this is the graph the job is done so what i just need to do i just need to clean the apu the core the core is clean so i'm going just to apply a little bit solder paste so we need to bend it a little bit to make access for this tape we don't want to cut this off middle frame is bent enough for the ribbon tape so we can just easily put everything back together and done and now the standard procedure so we need to solder the wire jumper wires to the point e which is here point a cmd and point d clk and we've got point b rst and we've got the ground here and we've got the 3.3 volts so we need to solder all these wires to those points and then we can carry on with the chip so i'm not going to talk anymore if you if you'd like you know more detailed instruction how to do this you can have a look at my previous video that i'm explaining uh, everything what you need to know but in this case i'm just going to carry on my job without talking so enjoy it's all right so let's apply some flux on certain points point c a, D, B, ground, and point, 3.3. All right, so point C is ready. All right, so now let's solder point A, C, and D. Point D is ready. Point B is soldered. Go down. We need to solder the ground. All right. 
so it's not good it's too long I just need to let a bit cut it down all right so 3.3 volts is soldered so we just need to clean all all these points so now we're going to just peeling off this film and I'm just going to place this chip like this so now I just need to plug you know the this tape from the APU here okay and now we just need to solder all those points to the certain points on this chip so we've got 3.3 .3 volts point C point eight point D point B and the ground all right so let's start from point C So now we need point A. Point A is this one. Point D now. So now point B, ground and 3.3. Now we need to solder the ground. And the last point, 3.3. All right, so the all points are soldered properly. So we just need to clean them from the flux, measure the values. so we are in the dial mode black probe on the ground let's measure it 3.3 volts it's correct point c is okay point a is all right point d is okay point b is perfect and ground good let me just check if there is no short between them no there's no short so now we should be able to check the system so I just need to plug the power and let's watch LED. I'm going to press the power button and yes, now it's glitching. And that's it. The job is done. So what I just need to do, All right? So let let me connect the game card reader. I'm going to put some screws and I'm going to also install heatsink. All right, so as I said at the beginning, my customer just, you know, sent me a 8 gigs SD card, which is not enough, but I'm going to copy my hot spark anyway on his SD card because I need to test the device before I send it back. You know, this SD card is very, very slow. He has to buy a new SD card, at least 128 gigs. Because, you know, to finish the process, we need to create a minant, but we won't. So my customer needs to do it by himself. It's an easy process, it's not so difficult. So what I'm going to do, just what I'm doing now, I'm just inserting his SD card. The hot spot is already prepared, because we need to test it a little bit. So power button, glitching very fast. Yeah, it doesn't matter for me because, you know, the, he needs to create the Eminent anyway, so he needs to create a new SD card. But, you know, this is for my testing purposes. I just need to see if it's booting to the custom firmware. And yes, the current system version 16.0.3 and atmosphere is 1.5.3. S letter at the end, that means we are in the SysNant, but we should be on emulant all right i can see that everything is working fine so i just need to test it a little bit more all buttons work sometimes because of this connector some of the functions of the switch are not available like you know the d-pad so you know oh i just need to test also the, my the game card reader because the, this is the common issue sometimes 
that it doesn't work properly but in this case it's perfectly fine so i just need to delete it all right so as you could see it was very very easy job to do you can you know follow my previous video that when i when i explain everything you know in details so uh, this is very similar pick of fly uh, in the case uh, hw fly 4.1 so there's no difference uh, in installation you know this one maybe is a little bit easier than uh, the one from my previous video because we don't need to solder you know the jumper wire directly to the uh, apu tape so to the middle pins as you can remember so this is this is a little bit easier but it's still the same yeah this is the same pick of fly like i've used in my previous video but different shape all right thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and see you next time